Hey, what up guys? John from Leaksville here, and I got a different install video than we normally do, because in this video, I'm actually installing a different manufacturer's product, but it's a product that's actually gonna work in unison or uh, with conjunction with a new product that we are actually about three years into development on. And this is actually gonna be our very first video where I talk about this new product. We're super excited about it, but that's what this video is. It's an install and product introduction video. Either way, I just know it's hot out here. What do you say we get going? All right, like I was saying, we are doing a different install video than we normally do, because normally we're only installing our products, and sometimes we'll demo uh, like applications and stuff you can use on our radios. But this time, I'm actually gonna physically be installing another brand's uh, product while interfacing with ours and introducing you guys to a new product. So what I'll be installing, just to give you guys a heads up, I'm gonna be installing a Lensun Solar hood-mounted solar panel. Pretty cool. Uh, Lens Sun Solar, check them out. They've got a lot of applications where they've got panels that are actually made to mount straight to the hood of your vehicle. Uh, they have their own MPPTs that'll really plug into your car battery or however you're gonna wire it up. They've got some really cool stuff. And for us, we actually have 400 watts of solar already on our Jeep. Uh, again, little sneak peek into what I'll be introducing here in just a moment. Uh, but what the problem is, because our tent opens up one way, uh, if we're ever at a show and we need the solar to keep our system running and the sun's behind us, we're getting nothing. So having this panel on the hood and letting us open the hood the opposite directions means it doesn't matter which way we point our Jeep, we'll be able to get some kind of solar charge to keep our system running while we're at the shows. So for us, it fit perfectly. Thank you, Instagram and the algorithm who just happened to pop up a Lens Solar ad. Hit them up and here we are. Going to be installing a 50 watt Lens Solar uh, panel that goes right on the hood. Depending on what vehicle you have, again, check their website. They got a bunch of applications. Uh, we got the smaller one because we actually have the Rubicon hood, which means we have the vent, but they actually have a 90 watt one uh, for the Jeep that doesn't have the air vents. But that's what we're gonna be installing. And what are we gonna be installing and hooking that up to? Well, that is where I get to introduce you guys to our brand new, like I said, about 36 months worth of development so far. And what we've been developing is this guy right here. We call this our Link 2 system, and it comes with a big 10 inch screen. A uh, quick rundown of what this thing does here. This here is designed to be your complete power management system, power control system. So what we will do is we're gonna install this. We actually have it in our Jeep. We've had it in our Jeep for about two and a half, three years. Uh, this is our, I believe our fourth variation of our first gen version. And there's a fifth variation on its way to us. It's very similar to this. Uh, what's gonna be different is the top is gonna give you access to see the, the uh, fuses. And we're gonna give a little bit different way of connecting the power and ground uh, to the system. But ultimately, it's gonna be this guy right here. We're gonna have uh, RVC. Uh, we're gonna work with all of the major brands. So we're working with like Renergy when it comes to our Tacoma. In our Jeep here, we actually have Vicron. So we're gonna be able to control all of the MPPT. We're gonna be able to control the inverter charger. We'll be able to control um, pumps and refrigerators and all that stuff. We're gonna give you 12 channels of output and those 12 channels can be connected. However, uh, they can turn on refrigerators. They can turn on lights. Uh, our big 30 amp outputs actually can be reverse polarity. So you can use uh, two channels to go in and out for like an awning or a slide or something like that. Uh, and really the, the plan ultimately is to give you as much expansion as possible. And then everything will go right here on this 10 inch touch screen where you'll be able to monitor everything from your tanks, uh, your fuel, your, uh, what are you talking about? Sorry, your water tank levels, uh, your, your gray level, your uh, be able to see what uh, triggers are on, so what sources are on, and you'll be able to control all of the lights and anything else you have plugged into it. So you can turn your fridge on, again, open slides, turn on all of your lights, all of that stuff, and it's gonna be in this really user-friendly uh, UI on this 10-inch screen. This screen will mount anywhere. On top of that, depending on what you've got this going in, so if you have this going in like a Sprinter van, uh, we'll actually give you where you can put physical switches so you can control things from the screen or you can have physical switches outside and they can control as well. You can turn it on with the physical switch, off with the screen. Uh, expansion is, is huge. We're going to give you the, the ability to monitor all of your charging and power inputs and outputs. So we'll give you exactly how much power is going in or how much power is coming 
uh, or sorry, how much power is going out and how much power is coming in. Uh, we'll be able to monitor uh, DC to DC, so your alternator can charge. We'll be able to monitor MPPT, so solar can charge. We'll be able to monitor um, AC to DC, so if you've got an inverter charger where you're able to plug into uh, 110 and charge, we'll be able to monitor all that. And we'll be able to turn on inverters, turn off inverters, all kinds of really cool things, guys. I'm telling you, this is gonna be um, just a very cool product. It's called our Link 2 Power System. And we're gonna come out with all of the cool gadgets and gadgets. So we're gonna come out with our own batteries. We'll come out with our own, um, what do you call it? MPPTs, we're gonna come out with our own verter charger, all of those things. We're gonna create our own, but also if you're a builder and you love Vicron, you love Renergy, or you love some of the other guys, if it's a uh, RVC, we're gonna be able to work within the RV system. So we're gonna be able to data control and monitor and all of that stuff on the screen. We're talking about expanding it, being able to do multiple uh, boxes so you can go from 12 channels to 24 channels and so on and so forth. Multiple screens. So if you've got a bigger rig and you want to screen inside and outside, a uh, screen in the front, screen in the back, uh, we'll be able to do that. And as well, a really cool feature is we actually have an app. You can download an app to your cell phone or your tablet and you can control it via Bluetooth from your phone. So for us, when I'm out camping in the Jeep, if I'm outside and I wanna turn one of the porch lights on or the awning lights on or something, I don't necessarily have to walk over to the Jeep or pull out the screen, turn on the screen, but I can have my phone, turn it on. Uh, your first eight channels are dimmable, so you can actually put them on lights and dim them, do whatever. I'm telling you, the expansion is amazing in this thing. So with that said, like I said, we've already got this thing installed. We've already got 400 watts of solar panels worth on our tent. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add this 50 watt on the hood. I'm gonna show you a real quick video how to install it, super simple. Uh, they actually come with an install manual, super good to follow. Uh, but we're gonna install it. I already got it kind of pre-ran for this thing. So we'll plug it in and I'll show you what's up and maybe even give you a little B-rail of the system itself. But this is what I'm talking about right here, Link 2. Uh, power power system. It's going to be cool, guys. Um, and just so you know, we will have two of them running here this weekend in Bolsa Chica. So if you happen to be here in SoCal and uh, like the beach, come down to Bolsa Chica State Beach for Jeep Bash. We'll have our Jeep and our Tacoma there if you actually want to get your hands on it. Um, but we'll also be at Sound and Sport. We'll be at Off-Road Expo. We'll be at Adventure Van Expo up in Big Bear. And of course, we will have both these guys at SEMA. Uh, so if you're interested in seeing what what we have happening with this link to power system we will be around we're actually going to be taking the parts themselves not with the vehicles out to a couple of shows in indiana so we are getting there guys just keep your eyes out we'll make sure we post where we're going but what do you say we real quick install this solar panel so we can get more power cool let's go so like I mentioned, we've got the hood that has the air vents. So we've got the little 50 watt that's gonna fit in between the two kind of, I don't even know really what they're supposed to be for. They're like hooks. I'm assuming we could hook things to the hood. I don't know. Anyways, that's where ours goes. If you read the install manual, they'll actually tell you what to do. So I've already kind of done the prep work. So I've already put the double stick tape on the back of the, the panel itself, which I'll flip around and show you in just a minute. I've also kind of measured out where I kind of feel like I want to put this thing. So for me, uh, they suggested to use some uh, blue painter's tape or something like that to kind of mark it and give you a spot because once this thing goes down, it's probably going to go down. Uh, but as I mentioned, they come with the panel. They also come, you can notice we already have the black sticker on our hood, but they actually come with a vinyl sticker so that you can put a sticker down first so that the double stick tape is actually on the vinyl and not the paint just in case something gets wonky. You're not messing up your paint too bad. Uh, and it kind of helps blend in the panel. So rather than it just being a square panel, it kind of gives the look and, you know, walking by, you probably even know it's a solar panel, which is honestly probably my favorite thing about this application. When I saw this, I'm telling you, I don't know how Instagram put this thing up in my reel, but they did. And I'm glad they did because that's probably my favorite thing about this panel is the way it looks. It looks like it doesn't belong. You have to pay attention to see it there. Uh, so I'm really excited for that. And like I said, it's gonna give us that opposite angle as our tent. So at this point, I don't know that more power could ever be a problem when you're out having fun and you got your system running. So like I said, I already did some of the prep work. Let me flip the panel over for you real quick, show you the hood. We're gonna go like this. I'm gonna stick that bad boy down, open the hood, we'll run the wire. And I've already got the wire for the rest of our panels. There's an, a junction block right there at the bottom of the hood. So we'll plug it in. And that's pretty much it, man. That's a pretty simple install. So uh, yeah, let's get at it. 
All right. So I'm six foot two, still need a ladder. Jeep's kind of tall. But anyways, here you go. So you can see there's the back of the panel. I already got some uh, double stick tape put on here. Uh, what they uh, suggest you do is you use alcohol, of course, uh, some uh, alcohol to wipe it down to make sure there's no grease. And then the other thing they suggest you do is you take some painter's tape and kind of measure where you want it so that you have kind of an outline where it is. Uh, funny story, guys, I can't find my painter's tape. So I actually had to take some painter's tape off of one of our amplifiers that we had marked uh, to fix some things. So um, don't have as much of a line as I'd love to do, uh, but let me grab the alcohol and let me wipe this guy down here to make sure we get a good, good, nice seal. All right, so just wipe this bad boy down. No, I only got to get it right here in the middle. I will probably do a couple runs of this just because the last thing I want is to hit Mach 50 in the Jeep. And anybody who's driven a Jeep knows there's no such thing as Mach 50. You're lucky to hit 50, but I want to make sure that it's nice and clean and ready so the adhesive stays nice. And there we got it. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and start pulling off the red stuff here on the back of our tape. And anybody who's ever worked with double stick tape knows this is probably the most frustrating part because it never wants to actually let go. You sit there and you chew up the edges, constantly trying to get it out until it finally lets go just before you're ready to say a bad word usually, but hopefully that will not be the case for me. My guess is I will be speeding up the video <laughs> once I finish talking right now. All right, we got our tape off. So I probably should have commissioned some help in this, but I didn't. So we're gonna do our best. If my wife is watching this, she will attest to you that everything I do is always crooked. So there's a good chance this is gonna be crooked, but we're gonna give it a shot. Well, that is where it's going, guys. <laughs> if it's crooked, uh, you can leave a note in the comment and I will just tell you it happens. That's the best I could do. So we're just gonna press it down nice and solid. Have it bend down the hood here. And this thing is on a plastic. And so it doesn't necessarily say anything. Actually, I didn't read to see if it said anything. My assumption is as the engine gets hot, uh, the plastic will start to uh, kind of take that curve a little bit better so it won't try to lift up. Like that. There it is. So there you go, guys. Lens Sun Solar 50 watt panel. It is a bit crooked. I'm a little upset about that, but at the same time, uh, there's nothing I can do right now. So it's as simple as that when it comes to mounting it. Hopefully, you have help and you can mount it better than I mount it. Uh, but I have my junction right here for the rest of my solar. So I'm going to pop the hood. We're going to run it in. I'm probably going to run it down here and just have it come up with the rest of my, like my lighting here. Pop that hood open. If we can get these connectors to come through. This is always the hard part, is finding the, the point of open that they'll come out. There we go. So you can see here, what I'm gonna probably do to keep this nice and tight is I'm gonna come up here. I'm gonna grab a little zip tie onto my little squirter, not tight so that I don't prevent my squirter from squirting, pull off this guy here, and I'm gonna come up and just be behind the actual uh, heat shield here. I'll come down here towards the corner, and then I'll drop down here and kind of give myself a little bit of play uh, so that I can make sure that the hood opens and closes, as well as 
uh, drop it down here. And then these guys here, I'll kind of coil this up and hide this in here. There's a big hole in there. And that is what we'll do. So let me grab a quick panel popper so I can panel pop that one piece off, run it in, bear with me. All right, guys, so be better than me because I broke my little clip here, so I'm about to get a replacement clip. But uh, you can see you got a little zip tie. It's coming over down here. Not sure if you can see this in the camera. Hopefully you can, but there's a little foam piece right here, and it makes a great, easy way to get any wiring from the hood out to the cowl. Uh, so just kind of push that foam out of the way, and then it gives you a nice little groove for you to put it in there. And then that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. You guys aren't going to be able to see where I plug it in. Uh, but I'm going to, and then I'll be done. And that's all there is to installing one of these hood mounted, uh, one of these hood mounted uh, solar panels. It's super simple. Um, but the coolest part is, of course, this thing's gonna plug directly into our already solar system, just adding some more. Make sure you check out Lens Solar though. They do have a ton of stuff. Lens Sun Solar, they've got some cool things. We actually have for our uh, Tacoma, we have their blanket coming. So they have a 300 watt foldable blanket. So it actually folds into a bag so that what we'll be able to do with the Tacoma, because our Tacoma is a soft top tent, not a hard top tent. So we'll be able to unfold that and kind of just drape it over and make it like the roof of the tent and make sure that we're getting solar in that as well. Uh, and again, they've got a lot of applications on the Tacoma as well. We're going to get the hood mount one for the Tacoma, add that to the system. But there you go, guys. Keep an eye out for Link 2 Power System. We got another YouTube channel. You can find that in the link as well. We're going to kind of push out as much uh, media as we can on the, the Link 2 stuff within its own kind of realm, uh, just so that it's easy to find. Because, uh, well, with our Links Wolf uh, YouTube, we are kind of, we got videos all over the place. So, but there you go. I don't know if that was helpful. You probably laughed because it's crooked. My wife's gonna give me a hard time. It's cool, I'm used to it. Everything I do, I feel like it's crooked. I just gotta stand a little sideways and it looks straight. But there you go. Thanks for hanging out with me guys and uh, we'll see you next time.